guys! Thank you so much for joining me today. I will be taking you guys shopping with me and mom is coming as well. We will be going to Chanel. <laughs> as you can see beside me, I did end up buying one of the bags that I tried. Yes, my new baby is from Chanel 23B. So watch the vlog and see if you guys can guess which one is in this box. I have already filmed the unboxing yesterday, so that video will go up next. We'll see how many of you can guess it correctly. So we've got a very fun vlog for you guys. Let me know if you guys can guess after watching the vlog. I'll see you in a little bit at the shops. Today I really want to wear my new Chanel jacket. This will be the first time wearing it since I unboxed it. Here's the tag one last time, 22C. Such a classic jacket. I see myself wearing time and time again. Just love the star print. I received some new jewelry pieces from Anna Luisa. Ah, so it's a pair of earrings. It's got this very interesting design detail and this goes under your earlobe. So I'll try these on and show you guys. Aren't they gorgeous? This one is the Sloan earrings. It wraps around the ear, so pretty. Then I got this bracelet. It has an adjustment so you can pull this as tightly or as loose as you want. So this is perfect for me because you guys know how tiny my wrists are. It's got a little crystal. And this is the most gorgeous mother of pearl. I'll show you in the sunlight. So pretty. You guys know I love mother of pearl. It looks really nice stacked with my Cartier Johnston clue. I can also wear it on my other arm with the VCA bracelet. The last item it is the paperclip necklace. This one is the Laura Bold necklace. You guys know I have this paperclip like bracelet from Ana Luisa as well. I wear this one a lot. I always get lots of compliments. This one is so good to, you know, stack because you can make it any length that you want. I've got my VCA Sweet Butterfly necklace so yeah they stack so nicely so just a very nice and simple paper clip necklace with all Anna Luisa jewelry they are coated in gold this one I've had for maybe six months now and yeah it hasn't tarnished or anything and I wear it in the shower as well so yeah I thought it was super sweet to have a matching necklace now can't wait to wear them thank you Anna Luisa Lisa for sponsoring this part of the video. I'm going to use this Chanel lipstick. I will leave everything linked down below. And if you guys haven't checked out my giveaway yet, you can enter to win this limited edition Chanel compact in this gorgeous purple shade and also the brush set. So I'll leave that video linked above. The giveaway is open until end of the month. Of course, we have to take Barbie out again. <laughs> if I do end up getting a new bag today, I want to use her a few more times. I have been using my Fendi Nano Baguette. We'll change it into the 20K card holder just to save space. That fits all inside nicely and there's still room. And I'm going to go with my Chanel sneakers today. <laughs> so there's my Barbie bag and these Chanel sneakers. Really love the laces on these and they're super comfortable. Also true to size. Here is the finished look. So you can see my little Barbie bag from 23A. The Chanel jacket. Now wearing just a suede skirt. My Chanel sneakers. Love them. <laughs> Let's go shopping. <laughs> How cool is mom's green clutch? This one was from Chanel 23A. Do you guys remember we saw the leather version? Check out this Shearling Mini 31. It is so soft and fluffy. 
I think if they did maybe a tan color or a cream, it would be a lot more popular than this orange. Wow, shielding jacket. This would be so warm. The orange is just a bit too much, right? It's very bright. I do love the mini reissue style. I have been using mine so much. They even have this color for the Chanel 19 and the Coco handle. The burgundy is gorgeous. This one is very shiny. It's a caviar mini wallet on chain. Waiting for my essay to bring my bags out. When I'm with you, with you, I feel not sure why the sequins are glued on here and not sewn on. I much prefer the denim jacket I got. They're from past collection. I love these buttons. Some vanity cases. These two chain straps are a little bit different. This one has cocoa. The diamond shape is a bit more unique, I think. I feel like this is crinkled, shiny calfskin. Great if you're looking for a black bag and also in a special, more rare type of leather. Doesn't these pants remind you of the sequin jumpsuit Margot Robbie wore in Barbie during the dancing to Dua Lipa's song? Here is the matching top. It is so sparkly. Love this phone holder. The gold chain detail with the Coco Crush rings is stunning. This jacket is super cool. It looks like it's black and white from far away. But then as you go closer, you can see there's all these multicolored threads running through it. Check out all the pearl detail. So many sequins. This velvet boy bag is so cute. Really love this color. This white wallet on chain is quite nice too. What do you guys think of this one? It's like a little dumpling. It does have a chain strap. different. My essay said the chain, because it's so thin, it can get tangled quite easily. So that's why they have all these cable ties on the strap. Can you guys believe the bow clutch from 23A only just arrived? Oh my god, it's so and cute. the pink velvet the, mini um, coat The shine of it is absolutely yeah. divine. Wow. It's got the flash. Yeah, it's actually like shiny. Mm. Did I expect that? Yeah, almost. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. That's it's actually so cool. really pretty. <laughs> this is right on red. Apparently, they call it like cat ears. Yeah, you can try this one on too, something different. Would you guys buy a satin bag? Because they are very delicate. If you are wearing something with zips, you might accidentally cause a pull, kind of like the Louis Vuitton shorts. You guys know how delicate those are. Last year we had this in satin as well. Oh. Um, yeah, it's um, very glamorous. I was super excited to try the mini hobo in pink velvet because I don't have any velvet bags in my collection and I thought this one is super unique and you guys already know from my last shopping vlog I actually really love the mini hobo style. You can double up the strap and wear it on the shoulder. 
The bag does not feel bulky at all when crossbody. What do you guys think of this bag? I love how it shifts color depending on the angle of the light. So you can see it's very light here and then when I move the bag this way, it becomes a lot darker. It is very unique, right? Here is the tag for the Mini Hobo in velvet. It is 7520 Australian dollars. This bag is from 23B. Here's a closer look at the satin bow clutch. This one is from 23A. They received the stock quite late. Really love the quilting detail. You can use it as a clutch. Imagine this with an evening dress. It would look so stunning. It does come with a strap as well, but I think for this bag, it's more suited to be a handheld clutch. The capacity is actually really good. So once you open it, the inside compartment is quite big. And it opens really wide, so very easy to, you know, find your things inside. My phone is a large size iPhone. It fits inside really easily. Here is the price. It's just under $7,000, which I think is quite reasonable for a clutch bag because as you know, Chanel evening bags are very expensive. Usually they would be over 10 thousand if not over twenty thousand. I don't think it looks as nice crossbody or on the shoulder just because where the chains attach it makes the bag look very wide. See how big the opening is? Oh my god my essay also has this rose gold mini 22. So pretty it's like a metallic Wow! Which bag do you guys prefer? What do you guys think? This one is actually in shiny gold. That's very pretty. Look how shiny this hardware is. I think it's actually in rose gold. It looks like it has a pinkish hue to it. Is there a pinkish hue? A pinkish hue? Yes. A, a, a this is the glow. one we saw last time with aged gold hardware in cobalt blue. The shiny rose gold hardware is such an interesting combination, right? I have actually never seen the Mini 22 with shiny hardware. So this one is very gorgeous. The crossbody length is actually not too bad, but you can easily adjust this with a chain clip. I was surprised they still have the blue Mini 22, so I had to try it on again because it was my favorite out of all the Mini 22s I tried on last time. I just really love the contrast between the gold lettering and the blue leather. I think the rose gold one is a bit too dressy. This is more casual. Maybe I can wear it more often. I don't know. They're both nice. Ah, so many choices. My essay was saying you can still dress this bag down a little bit with just denim and maybe a white shirt. What do you guys think? <laughs> the blue one is a lot more safe. And this one is, you know, metallic. So it's more out there, a more special occasion bag, I think. Yeah. Yeah, like a white shirt, jeans, and a little, oh, cute little bucket bag. Yeah, like not too much, but still. Yeah, yeah. really great that together. Really nice, right? yeah. We are talking about the Bomon dress I wore last time. <laughs> Went really well with this blue color. I do think the Mini 22 is a very versatile bag that you can dress up or dress down. This is such a hard decision, right? <laughs> That's oh my god! <laughs> you guys can see my dilemma here. <laughs> very sad. Yeah. 
This is so hard. I had the toughest time deciding between these three bags. The strap is very easy to adjust on the mini hobo and you can wear it both on the shoulder as well as crossbody. The velvet is very unique but do I really want to add another pink bag? On the other hand, there is the Mini 22, which I feel like may be a slightly better investment given that it is becoming more of a classic for Chanel. The rose gold color is super stunning and you guys know I just love shiny hardware rather than matte or aged hardware. Imagine this with a white dress in summer. That would look so nice. This Mini 22 is 8,340, so a little bit more expensive than the blue one. Which one do you guys think is better? The color doesn't stand out as much as the rose gold, but I would definitely get the most wear out of it because it is a neutral color that will go with most outfits. This bag is 8,020 Australian dollars. I guess the rose gold one is more special, but I am a little bit worried about metallics peeling because that is one of the common issues for the 22. So it's a little bit uncertain how the bag will wear over time. The blue color would be a lot safer, <laughs> but should I listen to my heart or should I be logical with my purchase? I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. I feel the price is definitely more worth it for the mini hobo. There are more design details. You get a front pocket as well as a back pocket. Capacity wise, this one actually doesn't fit very much. And once you have all your items inside, you cannot close it. The Mini 22 is a little bit taller, so all your items do fit inside a lot more nicely. I can see it as a very easy grab and go bag. You can see how roomy it is inside. She was wearing a gorgeous pink tweed dress last week. She came with like her white turtleneck and that was so beautiful against the soft pink. <laughs> My essay is so cute telling my mom what I was wearing last time I visited the boutique. While my essay was wrapping up my bag, I had a quick look around. The dark beige is so nice, especially in the Chanel 19. So this is the Chanel boy bag with top handle. Um, I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> the biggest fan of this bag. And with the top handle, it just looks very boxy and bulky. I definitely prefer the classic mini with top handle. Or even these cute little vanity cases. What do you think of this backpack? Here's how the backpack looks like on. It is very top heavy. See how it does not stay upright? I definitely prefer the Duma backpack which is a lot more comfortable on the shoulder. Black and white Chanel loafers. I'm curious how they would look on the feet. Let's try them on. The black and white, you know, I am always drawn to. Um, they seem good in theory, but yeah, I don't like how these look. <laughs> oh my God, they look so odd. Chanel loafers just doesn't seem to suit me for some reason. I definitely prefer the Hermes loafers. 
mom's jersey bag is actually pretty cool this color does not translate across on camera the color is a lot more vibrant than what the camera can pick up <laughs> the lighting here really doesn't do it much justice it's so much more beautiful when you see it in person do you guys love this bag it has such good capacity for the price Yay! So shopping was a success! It's time for a vote! Which bag do you guys think I ended up buying? Let's see how many of you can guess correctly. If you guys like the Ana Luisa jewelry I'm wearing, everything will be linked in the description. Thank you all for coming shopping with me for Chanel 23B. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again very soon for the unboxing. Bye!